There is a need for coordination, a need for more international cooperation. I plan to apply all the knowledge that I got here also in Brazil. This is a new era of space exploration with diverse participants and increasingly enhanced international cooperation. And future lunar, Mars and deep space exploration missions all need many young talents. China has been working on an issue with the United Nations. Part of its efforts is to cultivate talents from underdeveloped countries in space science and technology. International students are being instructed how to use equipment for monitoring natural disasters. And see, this is a crack of a slope. This is very, very detailed information. For example, for monitor or for detect the landslides, precursors. They not only use it in class, but also in the field. To learn about UAV is, is kind of it will help me and the other students to uh, understand the current uh, trend of the technology and also it will be used in their country uh, to develop their country in the future. This is only the small part of the classes here, which in fact extend to almost all sectors in space science and technology, covering remote sensing and geographic information systems, global navigation satellite systems, microsatellite technology, space law and policy, and space project management. The aim is to meet the demands of young talents from the Asian and Pacific region and beyond in addressing the problems, for example, in increasing agricultural efficiency and disaster prevention and mitigation. Such programs are not rare in leading educational institutions for space science and technology in China. In the UN official praise, the efforts were joined in a celebration last year for the 10th anniversary of the founding of the UN Regional Center for Space Science and Technology Education, now based in the city of Hangzhou, East China's Zhejiang province, stressing it is a need for all. There is a need for coordination, a need for more international cooperation, and the need for capacity building. And there is a large place for this center to contribute to the capacity building and to bridge the gap between the uh, failing nations and the emerging nations. The official said China is showing a good example in passing on the space science and technology. And that's just why the UN chose to work with the country. And this cooperation is set to expand. Uh, China is quickly developing in deep space with the probes and exploration of the other bodies in our solar system. And I hope to cooperate in image processing areas of the, uh, the data generated by those deep space probes. The international students have set goals for themselves after graduation. Uh, I, I want to apply uh, this knowledge in space project management. I used to work in an airline company and uh, I plan to apply all the knowledge that I got here also in Brazil. I want to initiate or to build an aerospace company in my country in Bolivia because I think this is going to be like a huge investment in my country. I believe I will, I will be able to take whatever I've learned here in Beiyang University, take it back home and you know, put plans in place such that whatever I've seen here can be replicated back in my country to improve the livelihood in my country, to ensure science and technology is seen and experienced, not just in books, but also felt in person. Now the data and results from China's lunar and Mars exploration missions have been made accessible to the international academic community. They have become case studies for many countries' space science courses. And the China Space Station has invited experimental projects from the UN member states, providing microgravity research opportunities for international students. China's aerospace industry says it is hoping to work with others to effectively tackle common challenges in the global space sector and achieve sustainable development goals for all.